order to episode number 6 on behalf of uh, the British Voices Spoken English Institute, I am Gonas Naik. Once again, I am recalling some important points of the previous class that already we have discussed in the last class, formula number 1 and uh, a structure simple present positive sentence assessment number one so assessment is most important for everyone to take the examination of oneself and we have to get confidence that if we'll be able to do the assessment properly assessment is most important for everyone as a result, we will improve the examination of the structure, which is structure is used to translate audio to English. So now, I want to continue the assessment one, according to the structures number one and formula number one, are we able to translate today to English correctly or not and uh, although grammar is the universal word and which grammar assists everyone to orderly and correctly to translate today to English if you once will able to translate Odia language into English language then we can able to also speak and write English properly because of when one person is able to very strongly to translate audio to English and we are able to construct or frame sentence and we are able to also correctly write English then second step we can speak English. So writing is important then we shall take the test that really we are able to speak English within very short periods or not. So that now I am continuing assessment already in the last class I have told the simple present positive sentence structure and according to that structure we translated numbers of sentences over to English don't forget one thing that if you are unable to translate audio to English, it is not possible to speak English. And if we cannot speak English, then we cannot communicate with others and uh, will be poor at spoken. Spoken English means that easily we can convince and express our desires, our passions in our everyday life and we can go abroad. When we will live our native today, when we will go outside at that time, successfully we can interact with the others. So that formula number one. Formula number one. Tense is present. Form, simple form or indefinite. And a type of a sentence type of a sentence negative. And a structure Subject plus do or does plus not plus V1. And by the application of this structure, how we can translate numbers of negative audio sentences into English? So, example. Bagha Gha 
حساب خای نه باغ خاصو خای نه باغ هی جوان وات خاصو جانا دار وات خای نه جانا دار وات سو این دیس سنتنس دار ثری تایپس اف وارس باغ دات ایز جی سبجکت وارد نمبر وان دن اکشن وارد خای نه دات ایز بی وان وارد نمبر دو Then rest, left side of the action word that is hasa, one number three. So there are three words in this sentence. First we have to know that what type of sentence it is. It is a tense is present. Why? Now because the action words last letter is pronouncing A. That is why it is a tense is present. And the nahi is written with the action word. So that is a negative sentence. It means the tense is present, form is a simple or indefinite, or the name. type of sentence is a negative, structure subject. Here subject is Bhagav, Bhagav meaning is a tiger. Tiger, common noun, tiger. Then doer does. So tiger is the third person singular number. The subject is the third person singular number. It is not I. It is not a we, it is not a you. That is why it is a third person singular number. From the very beginning, I have told you that which subject third person singular number? Now, I, we, you. I, we, you, except any other word in the world is called third person singular number. So that time is third person singular number. So without hesitating according to the rule and regulations of the right grammar, between two helping words, do what it does, we must choose, does. And this dot will be agree for this subject. So the subject third person singular number, we must select dot as the helping verb. So dot. Then a not. Okay, then B1. B1 means action what are doing what? That is high. It. Then the rest what? Grass. Grass. Sentence two, okay. I translated. Tiger does not eat grass. In speaking, we will say that tiger does not eat grass. But when we shall write that, it is written. It is a written form. Tiger does not. In written. But in spoken, in verbally, when we want to say this sentence at that time, we must take the short form of a does not. That it does not. Tiger doesn't eat grass. We shall say tiger doesn't eat grass. In spoken, in speaking, in verbally, we attack the short form of a does not. We cannot say does not. We must say doesn't. But written, we must say that tiger does not eat grass. It is okay. It means Tense is present, form is simple and indefinite, type of sentence is negative, and structure subject plus doer does plus not plus b1. By the help of this structure, very easily within very short periods within a second, we can able to translate this. So another sentence I am checking by this structure. Then another negative audio sentence about tense present, simple form I am translating. Shemane Ajikali Amogharapu Bhala Amogharapu आशीर्वाद को भलो पार्टी नहीं
Samane to one word, Ajikal another word, Amogor another word, Ku another word, Asib another word, Ku another word. Bala Panti nine. Guys, so Samane is subject, one number one. Bala Panti nine, that is B one. Number two, then a left side of Axel or that is a coup, one number three. Asiva, one number four, then a coup, one number five, Amogoro, one number six, Azikan, one number seven. So there are seven words in this sentence. So first I mark the Axel word as a B1 or one number two, Bala Panti nine. Then after knowing that action word in the sentence, then we have to search the subject. That is seman. Ki bhala paanti nai na seman. Who does that action? Na seman. Seman the subject one number one. Then left side of the action word that is one number three. That is ku. Asiva word number five. Left side of asiva that is a ku one number five. Left side of a ku that five. That is Amogar, one number six. The left side of Amogar, that is Ajikari, one number seven. So there are seven words in this sentence. So, how easily by the help of uh, the structure, I am translating in Odia to English. So, first we have to know it is in a which sentence. The sentence in which tense. So, Bhala Panti Nai, Bhala Panti, the last character of action word in T. So, that the tense is present. So, it is a Nai, so negative sentence. So structure is that subject. Subject semane in English is they. Then bhala panti nai. Bhala panti nai. Here semane is the subject. It is over. Structure then two dots. Though they is the third person. Plural number subject. So that between the two and the dots, we must select do as the helping word. So we shall write here do. They do. Then a not. Then a B1. Bhala paiva. Like or love. They do not like or love. Then word number three. Ku. Ku in English is two. Then asiva. In English that is come. Then word number five that is ku. That is two. Amogara. Our house. Our home or our, our house. Word number six. Then word number seven. Ajikali nowadays. Nowadays. Over. The sentence is they do not allow to come to our home nowadays. Okay. Very within very short words, I translated what English by the help of this structure. And another example. Ganesh sir, Ganesh sir, Macha, Dharam ti nahi, Ganesh sir Macha Dharam ti nahi, Ganesh sir is what, one word, Macha is another word, Dharam ti nahi another word. So first, to translate audio to English, we have to locate the action word, that is dharanti nai. The last letter of the action word, dharanti inti, dharanti inti. Though the last letter of this action word is a pronouncing inti, so that the tense is present. And the nai is added with the action word that is negative, so tense is present. Form is a simple, sentence type is negative, and the structure is the first subject. Subject here, Ganesha is the subject number one. Action word that is Dharam Tinai B1, one number two. Then left side of action word that is Macha, one number three. So there are three words here. So we shall write Ganesha structure. We shall adapt the structure of a tense present form simply definite or types of negative. So structure that is subject, subject means Ganesha. Ganesha, then do what it does. The Ganesha is the third person a singular number, so we must select action of helping verb does. Then not. 
then v1 dharanti dharva is cats then what number 3 macha macha is fish over ganesha doesn't catch fish sir is over mo sangha mane mate gali dianti nai my friends do not scold or rebuke me mo samano ba soito pratidina cricket khele nahi i do not play cricket with them regularly mo mo chhatra chhatri manaku danda diye nahi i do not give punishment to my students benga pani piye nahi prab doesn't drink water pila mane rabibar dino vidyalo ko daanti nahi students do not go to school on sunday so numbers of oriya sentence which sentence are negative easily we can translate or convert into english by the help of uh, this formula number 1 so first we have to know that eh, the tense then a form the type of a sentence then a structure then easily we can translate so now another sentence that is interrogative interrogative type of a sentence tense is present form is simple or indefinite and type of a sentence that is interrogative yes or no yes or no interrogative inter interrogative structure do or a does plus a subject plus a b1 plus question mark by this structure how am i translating odia sentence to into english see an example apan apan gita ganti apan gita ganti aur apan gita ganti ki this is the question sentence or interrogative sentence what type of interrogative sentence yes no question sentence because when i shall put this question to somebody apan gita ganti he or she must answer me yes or no so that it is yes no question sentence so if you such type of a yes no question sentence do you want to use in your everyday life when you talk with others or arrange conversation or write something you must easily translate by the help of this structure so the first step look at how many words are there so apan is one word gita is another word then is another word so first step, to translate odia to english without hesitating we must mark or recognize the action word the position of the action word in the sentence that is the rest last word of the sentence that is action word the last word of the interrogative yes no interrogative sentence you must know that that is the action word so ganti it is v1 word number 2 then who does that action is the subject kie ganti na apan it is subject word number 2 one so then action word is word number 2 subject is word number 1 then rest word gita it means the re, left side of the action word will be numbered as word number 3 so gita is word number 3 i mark the words by 1 to 3 how many words in this sentence only 3 words so by the help of um, this sentence how apan gita ganti apan gita ganti the last letter of this action word is the pronouncing in T. So that is the tense is present. So there is a question mark. So it is interrogative question mark. It is a what type of interrogative question mark? It is a yes no question sentence or interrogative sentence. So that we shall apply this structure. What do or does? 
So though the subject is upper, upper means you, it is the second person singular and plural also. So that we must take a do as the helping verb. So do, then plus the subject, subject is upper, upper means you. Upper, to, to me, upper, upper man, to me man. In English we will say that that is you. So it is you, then action what? B1, we are the guy by English is singing. Sing, then question mark. Do you sing? So then, Apollo Kito Ganti, do you sing? Semane Eter Kerotiki, do they play here? Apollo Chapion Tiki, do you have a tea? Math Apollo Bodu Bolo, Matam Bodu Bolo Pantiki, do your mother, does your mother love you so much? Thomas Sikoman at Tomuko, Senagaran Tiki, do your teachers love him? Bago Gaso Kaiki. Touch tiger eat grass. Pari re macho rohe ki. Touch fish live in water. Such type of Odia sentence. How I am translating by the help of this structure. So that if numbers of Odia sentence we can translate to that English, then we can also speak, we can also talk, and quickly we can also write also English. So then, another example. And the type of a sentence that is the double edge question sentence. Type of a sentence. Type of a sentence that is the double edge. Double edge question sentence. Structure double edge what? Plus a two or a dodge. Plus a subject, plus a B1, plus question mark. Example. To me, Ratri call how? To me, you one word, Ratri is another word, call how is another word. So we have to translate to that English. First action word. How? How, oh, oh, the last letter of the action word is pronouncing oh, so that the tense is present. And when I will put this question to somebody, the answer never will come as a yes or no. That is double H. So tense is present. Form is simple and definite. Type of sentence that double H question sentence. Structure double H word. So here double H word that is a con. That is a con. I am marking this subject of what? Or easily we can also. Use this structure here. Con. What? Then do or does. So the subject is here. The subject is here. To me. That is why for to me we must take the helping verb. Do. Not a does. What do? Then the subject is to me. You. Then action on the high is it. Then rest word not there at night. Question mark. What do you eat at night? Bengo. Kyo tira hai? Bengo kyo tira hai? Bengo is subject one. Action at night. That is B one. Two. So, count is one number three. So, Bengal came to write the last one action is pronouncing A so that the tense is present. And the question mark is interrogated. What type of? Now, do I am putting this question to somebody? Answer must come as a not a yes or no. It will come at double H question. If the answer is not a yes or no, Bengal came to write the answer is not a yes or no. So, that it is not a yes or no question sentence. And it is what type of a question sentence? It is a double H question sentence. So the tense is present, form is simple and definite. The type of sentence that is double H question sentence. And the structure is the first word, double H word. So KUT, KUT English, oh yeah. Then do or touch. The bag is third person singular number. We must take the helping verb touch. Oh yeah, touch. Then subject is a bangle. Subject bangle, problem. 
then action what rest to what that is it rahe in english that is live where does from live bengal to hindi rahe i translated so i am telling some sentences over in english i am translating se mane pratidin ravibar din kon karati what do they do every sunday in the morning तुम माँ सोमवार दिन कौन रोसे करती ह्वाट डज योर मदर कुक ऑन संडे तुम्हें कहीं की तुम सांग सहित झगड़ा कर ह्वाय डु यू क्वार विथ योर फ्रेंड्स तुम प्रधान शिक्षक तुम कहीं दंड दिखती ह्वाय डज योर हेडमास्टर गिव यू पनीशमेंट से मैंने कहीं विश्राम नि ह्वाय डु दे टेक रेस्ट हियर तुम्हें किपरी नदी पार हो हाउ डु यू क्रस द रिवर गोड़ न थाई अनेक लोग किपरी फुटबल खेलती मेनी पीपल अनेक लोग गोड़ न थाई अनेक लोग किपरी केमी फुटबल खेलती हाउ डु मेनी पीपल प्ले फुटबल विदाउट लेग्स बिना ज्ञान रे तुम्हें केमी सब प्रश्न उत्तर दि हाउ डु यू आंसर अफ द क्वेश्चन Without knowing the answer, to me, every day, no, so call it, corn, cow, what do you eat every morning? So the assessment is like that. So you will at home also write numbers of Odia sentences, and you will practice that by the help of this structure to translate Odia to English. And when the assessment is correct, then you can able to write numbers of sentences, which sentences belong to tense present simple form. That might be positive sentence. Or a negative sentence, or an interrogative sentence, or anything. Easily, if you can able to translate or have English of this sentence, then also you can arrange conversation. You can talk with others, and you can speak English very quickly by the help of this formula number one. And the structure that is present simple, positive, negative, interrogative, double H. So, if you like the class. And if you get back the confidence that uh, you can translate or write English very nicely, correctly, according to the rule of grammars, then you must give to my class a like or give me a like, and you will subscribe this video also to link with your friends. As a result, I will continue the next classes. So according to that, uh, you have to keep it patience, but don't forget that to watch all episodes properly, and uh, finally, you must get success. I am mean, giving you this confidence, and words also. I am mean, giving you words. You must be success in life, writing and speaking English correctly and quickly. Thank you. Have a nice.